You're watching 39 WDZL, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, your movie station. Time again for Tennessee, Tuxedo and his tail. as Tennessee and Chumley were relaxing by their swimming pool. Uh, Chumley, someone's rattling at the door. Will you please see who it is? Morning, Chumley. Got a package here for Tennessee. Looks mighty interesting. What's he up to now, eh? Well, Chumley, who is it? Uh, look at the package. I didn't know it in your package. Oh, I see. It's just the mailman. If it's not a letter, throw it in the trash can. Well, what is it? A letter? Yeah, a little box. I see. And you threw it in the trash can. Good, good. Small square box, and you threw it in the trash can? Chumley! That's my new camera. Chumley, you and I are going into the photography business. We're going to be rich and famous. Now, let's have a look. There it is, Chumley. The way to fame and fortune. Now, the first thing to do is to open up our studio. And before you could say, watch the birdie, Tennessee and Chumley were in business. And soon had their first customer. TNC Photography? Who? The mayor? Uh, yes, yes, Mr. Mayor. Campaign posters. Sure, sure, we can do it. Uh-huh, you're in a big hurry. It's very important. Never fear, Mayor. Tennessee Tuxedo does not fail. First thing in the morning. Right. Chumley, that was the mayor. He's got to have some pictures for campaign posters right away. This is our big chance. Uh, gee, Tennessee, you think you're ready to take pictures of big shots like the mayor? Don't be ridiculous, Chumley. There's nothing to it. You just point it and push it like this. Uh, gee, Tennessee, maybe you should practice, huh? Uh, might be a good idea at that. And you will pose for the pictures. All right, Chumley, watch the birdie. Perfect. Now, let's have something a little less formal. That's it. Great. Now, how about a close-up? Fine. There. That ought to be enough. Now, let's open it up and see what we've got. I'll just take the back off the camera and take out the pictures. They're gone. We've been robbed. We've been chipped. I'll have the law on the people that sold me this camera. It doesn't work. And the mayor is coming in the morning. We'll be ruined before we start. Then maybe we should go to see Mr. Whoopi, huh, Tennessee? boys. Hi, Mr. Whoopi. I've got a riddle for the three-dimensional blackboard. The 3D BB knows all. Okay. What has a foot at each end and another foot in the middle? That's easy. A yardstick. And I promised the mayor we'd do a good job. He's a very important customer. We've got to deliver. Yes, I see. Well, now, first you ought to understand how a camera works. Now, where did I put the three-dimensional blackboard? Must be in the closet. The fundamentally fabulous, fantastic 3D BB. The first thing you've got to know is that a camera is simply a box. A box that is completely light-proof. No light can get in except through the lens in the front of the box. Lens? What's the lens for? 
The lens, my boy, is a piece of glass which squeezes the light so that the image of what you are photographing can fit in the camera. <laughs> After all, you couldn't very well put a six-foot walrus into a six-inch camera, now could you? The lens does it for you. Now, right here in back of the lens is the shutter. It opens and closes very quickly when you push the button on the side of the camera. When the shutter opens, it lets the picture through to the film. Film? I knew there was something missing. There was no film in the camera. Of course not, my boy. You have to put the film in yourself. It goes back here. It's on a roll. Every time you take a picture, you turn a little crank on the outside of the camera. That rolls the film so that you're ready to take the next picture. Have you got that, Chumley? It's not just point it and push it. It's point it and push it and crank it. Chumley, we've got it. Let's go. Thanks, Mr. Whoopi. Thanks? But wait! Wait! And so Tennessee and Chumley, certain that they knew all there was to be known about photography, hurried back to the zoo for another practice session. All right, Chumley, let's take some more pictures. Start posing, please. Uh, work intelligent. Wide awake. Alert. Fine. Fine. Hold it. Now, Chumley, be dramatic. Great. Great. Very artistic. Hold it. Chumley, you're moving. Chumley, I said... This is ridiculous. Can't you ever be serious? Now stand up there and look solemn. Like a big executive, a leader of men. That's the ticket. Perfect. <laughs> Chumley! That's better. Chumley, will you cut it out? Now just one more and we're through. A nice, quiet, homey pose. Oh, that's fine. Now, this is going to be a great work of art. Hold it. Sensational. Now, Chumley, comes the moment of truth. This is where we professional photographers are separated from the amateurs. Results, Chumley, results. Now, here we are. Uh, hey, it's all black. I can see that it's all black. Something is obviously wrong with this camera. We'd better go back and see Mr. Whoopi. Of course the film was all black. I tried to tell you boys that there's more to getting pictures than simply clicking the shutter. In the first place, the film you put in the camera does not turn into the picture. Oh, no. It turns into what is called a negative. Negative? Yes, look here. The film you put in the camera is a piece of clear plastic which has a chemical on it. The chemical is sensitive to light. When you take a picture, the light coming through the lens changes the chemical on the film and makes it backwards. What is light is dark and vice versa, see? That's a negative. Uh, sure, but how does that make a picture? Well, the negative is put on a piece of paper that is also sensitive to light. And when the light is turned on, the paper changes to just the opposite of the negative. This is called printing. Gee, that's neat, Mr. Whoopi. But it looks kind of complicated. Isn't there some easier way to develop pictures? Well, you can always take them down to the drugstore. They do a very nice job. Phineas J. Whoopi, you're the greatest. And so the next morning, our two heroes were ready for... His Honor, the Mayor. No, sir, Tennessee, can't afford to make mistakes. Can't waste time. Busy man. Busy, busy, busy. Uh, all set, Your Honor. My assistant will show you where to sit. Chumley, if you please. Hey! Chumley, put him down this instant. Uh, sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, Mayor, hold that pose. Now remember, these pictures are going to be on posters all over town. I must look intelligent, honest, dignified, handsome, fatherly, trustworthy, courageous, brave, and true. Uh, don't worry about a thing. Satisfaction guaranteed. There. All done. I'll have them developed and sent right over. There's no time for that. Have them sent directly to the printers. I want those posters up as soon as possible. And they'd better be good. Good, good! Following the mayor's instructions, Tennessee had the picture sent directly to the printer. Gee, uh, Tennessee, don't you think we ought to maybe look at them first? Uh, maybe there's something wrong with them, huh? Don't be ridiculous, Chumley. You're looking at one of the world's greatest photographers. The pictures will cause a sensation. And cause a sensation they did. Two days later, the mayor called again at the studio. Good work, Tennessee. I understand the posters are up all over town, and I thought you might want to ride around with me and take a look at them. <laughs> well, here's the first one. <laughs> Intelligent? 
honest, dignified, the people's choice? You ruin me! I'll be a laughing stock! I'll have you run out of town! No, boy, George, I'll do it myself! Chumley, let's make a moving picture! Tennessee and Chumley will be right back with more cartoon fun. What do they call a cat who drinks lemonade? Oh, they call him a sourpuss. <laughs> <laughs> 